video begins, I just quickly want to shout out to all the people that helped me with this build. I want to shout out to Eastk Forums. They have really reliable people over there that can help you out with any DIY skateboards, of course. That's the whole point of it. I had no clue what to do with this build. I had no clue how to start or what. But these guys helped me out, and without them, I probably wouldn't be able to finish this build. And I just want to quickly say, shout out to my homies. I know a lot of them, which went in a good way. And I know there's a lot of things that I say, but I don't do. And this was going to be one of them where I, I say I'm going to do it, but I'll never will do it. But my homies, shout out to you guys. They influenced me to to do it, and which I did, because I wouldn't be making this video if it didn't happen. You know, going to this build, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of things, and it's crazy because it's funny how I made a board from Home Depot, or found a piece of wood in the back of Home Depot. I think it was like three years ago now, and I was blossoming into this whole new level of DIY and just skills in general that I learned. So without that, I probably would not be here making this video. Who knows what I'll be doing at this point in time. I thought about it making this shooting the reveal and I did not want to go for a overkill flexing type of way of showing off something that of course I built I build on my own, but I don't want to show it off as something that's, you know, how like some people show off like expensive watches or cars or whatever. I'm not like that. So I just did a basic reveal, did all my cinematic shots, everything like that. And either way, it's gonna look nice either way because it's way better than what I was thinking about before. Yeah. Just want to talk to you guys for a little bit and hope you guys enjoy this reveal. Let's get right to it. Here we are guys, this is the, this is it. Official reveal of the DIY Extra Skateboard. issues with with it right now currently belt belt's touching but I can fix that this is on full power right now I'm about to charge it again so I wrote it here and I kind of messed up my battery life and the power test out the full speed but right now I'm just doing the currently I'm filming for the teaser trailer so by the time you see this the teaser trailer and the reveal will be out so you guys will see it, but yeah.
guys can hear the bell. I definitely gotta move it over a little bit on the wheel. Other than that, it's fine, but yeah. So I'll show you guys like everything all put together and how it works. So of course you start with the motor, it goes to the motor wires and then the sensor wire goes into the visc as well. And that leads up to the to the anti-spark switch, which So, and the receiver, where's the receiver at? It's right here, okay. Receiver, there's a little white wire that goes to the anti-spark switch, which I'll, that's how I get to see the, the battery level on the remote. And I did, I did put each shrink on the exposed solder joints and to reduce some of them, but it was worth it. Cause now they're all covered up, it's good to go. So yeah, anti-spark switch connects to the battery, uh, battery harness and these little wires right here connect to this plug on the battery and that's how I can see the battery percentage or if everything's balancing correctly the way it should be. And we, down here we got the power switch and the charge port. We've got a little cover for the charge port. Where's that? It's right there. Just like that. And I brought down charge charger. And I might charge this to like 80%, almost 100. So here I got the fuse. It's plugged in plugs into the charge port and the other black wire charge plugs into the BMS that goes to the charge port so that's how I'll be able to keep the battery from not destroying itself because I'll have because I have the fuse and so I gotta put this cover back on and it covers up, covers up like that for the fuse holder I got the foam on the side of the battery so it's protected. And I got the Bluetooth module for the BMS plugged in on the side too. The hole, I might have to like find a way to cover that up better so like no dirt wire gets inside. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, so now the main question I ask now is what's next for this build? And yes, I just did the intro so you're not tripping on me wearing the same clothes. The question I ask myself is what's next for this build? Cause right now it's done yes we got the making the board electronics soldering and last but not least the assembly so now what's next well all that's next now is upgrading and that's not gonna come for a while because as it is right now it's pretty powerful for a single motor setup which i probably will make a third part of the diy which is skateboard which you're probably confused why there's no third part yet. I just really wanted to get the reveal out so you guys can see it. And I know it's kind of bullshit of me making parts when I should have got the whole board done in one video. But it was kind of hard because a lot of things were spaced out and I had to wait for a lot of things to be done before I can move on and complete it, which is what it is. So I think even now, like it could be the name brand, Boost the Board, Meepo, everything else, I don't know. You guys can put it in the comments if I'm missing out on, on other companies, but it's all I know so far. Um, I do have some more plans for another uh, bill that's coming soon. I've yet to find the materials to make it and I'll probably um, talk about it in another video. If you guys enjoy it, please comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.